officially declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. Looking at what's happening in the U.S., it feels good to live in Canada. We're watching what fear and selfishness can do to a nation, and we know we don't want that. Here, we believe in public health care, public education, and a strong social safety net. We take care of each other. It's why we're slowly but surely getting through this pandemic. We came together to support our essential workers. From workers on the factory floor, stepping up to manufacture masks, ventilators, and hand sanitizers. All of our healthcare workers, our grocery store clerks, our bus drivers, and so many other everyday people making sure our community is kept going. We know we won't get through this if everyone's in it for themselves. That's why we need to move forward together. We need to up our game on seniors' care. Too many seniors died because the system is broken. It's time to end for-profit care. And let's help families make ends meet by finally making prescription drugs part of healthcare too. Many workers are unemployed right now. Small businesses have been knocked down. We need the Canadian government to step in and rev up local economies by hiring people to build green infrastructure, educate our youth, and care for people. When the next economic disaster hits, we need to make sure that employment insurance is there for everyone who needs it, and that we have a plan for childcare that actually works for families. See, our country needs a Canadian plan that disaster-proofs our communities, that works for us by taking care of everyone, especially through hard times. Living in a place like Canada means we move forward together. Politicians are making some big choices right now about what's next. We have one chance to get this recovery right. Join us at CanadianPlan.ca and put pressure on decision makers to make the right choices.